Hi, this is Janos, this is Real World Audio, and uh, today we are looking at the specific plans for the La Grande loudspeaker build, and I'm going to look at the basic build. And uh, so what's going on? So basically this loudspeaker project that I'm working on and that I'm sharing with you the process uh, of my journey with it from from ground up is uh, was based on the idea of uh, Jean Hiraga's uh, Le Petit which is uh, a, 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 a smallish uh, bookshelf size uh, or I would say a largish bookshelf, bookshelf size smallish loudspeaker uh, with a tiny driver with a four inch driver that produces an astonishingly full and, and big sound that, that is reminiscent of, of much bigger loudspeakers. And, uh, and I was playing with this idea how I would implement it myself because uh, Jean Hiraga hinted that, that uh, this is just like a starting idea but, uh, but he, he was thinking about more things how one can take it further than, than Le Petit and, uh, and this is my idea how I would uh, play around with the Le Petit idea and, uh, and I call it La Grande, the big, <laughs> the big girl basically. Uh, and, uh, and I'm going to call two versions for the build and, uh, and basically when we look at it, La Grande is uh, actually a baby voice of Lancelot. So I have started out from, from Le Petit and I ended up with Baby Voice of Lancelot. So if you are thinking a lot about my, uh, my big uh, Altex speakers and, and you want a sound like that, but uh, you are not ready yet to undertake such uh, complex cabinet construction or you don't have the space for such enormous loudspeakers, or you don't have money or access to such uh, elusive or uh, <laughs> ultra expensive drivers and, and maybe or you don't want to fiddle around with, uh, with building crossovers. So either of these things uh, barred, uh, there is a simple and cheap solution for you to have what I would call as 80% of the voice of Lancelot sound and Nelly was just telling me that she thinks it's 98% of the voice of Lancelot uh, sound what these babies can do. So basically what I am talking about, the one that I have built is uh, what I call as La Grande, the big girl, but what I'm going to share today, the plans for is La Grande, the basic version. So this is the one that's the foundation and uh, it's a simpler construction, it's a rough version and it's for those of you who are first time loudspeaker builders or, or you don't have um, diverse tools at your disposal. So this is for you. And, and the, the more elaborate construction refined version, I will talk about it after this, because actually it's the exact same loudspeaker, just there will be a ton more elaborate, intricate details in the construction that take the construction time about 10 times that of the basic version. So the, the difference between the skill level and time uh, that, that you have to put in is just enormous between the two and I would say the, the basic version probably you are going to get 90% of what the elaborate version can do and uh, most likely the biggest benefit for, for the, the, the full scale version is uh, with uh, classical music so if you listen to Bach, you listen to cello, you listen to violin, you listen to piano then you will tremendously uh, appreciate it. If not, you listen to pop, jazz, then uh, most likely you will be 
getting 99% of the, the bigger experience with the smaller version. Um, so here we go, the, the basic version. And why, uh, before I get into it, one more thing, you might find this boring, but it's very important. So what I'm going to share with you, what I'm sharing with you is a path to build Lagrand. And until now, what uh, my uh, way of looking at giving advice to you was that I, I said, okay, when, whenever an, or any of you give me a suggestion, can I build it like this? Sure you can. Can I build it like that? Sure you can. Uh, there's lots of things you can try out, but I'm going to now pull on the handbrake, full stop, slam on the brakes, and I'm going to explicitly call what is La Grande. And I'm going to be, give you the, the basic version, La Grande basic, and if you go lower than that, it's not La Grande yet. And I'm going to give you, uh, the, the later on, not today, the, the full-blown version, and if you go towards that route, and I also give more opportunities to grow, you still can, then you can call it the full Lagrand. If it's somewhere in, in the middle, you can still call it Lagrand basic, as long as it's on this path. But if you diverge in key parameters, then it's not Lagrand anymore. It is your concept and you got to name it uh, to become your baby. And I'm Actually, I'm encouraging you to do that, to play around with it. But when you build it, do not call it Lagrande because it is not Lagrande. So if you stay off the path of Lagrande, uh, then it's not Lagrande, even if uh, like 90% of the ideas is Lagrande, but key parameters diverge, then it will be something uh, very different in sound. And, uh, and that's your idea anymore. So basically, that's why I spent time on this, to, to make it absolutely clear to everyone what is Lagrande. It is from the basic to the full-grown Lagrande, depending on the level of refinement and the level of energy you put into the project and uh, you are most welcome to build it and call it Lagrande. And if you build something that's inspired by it, but your ideas, then please do not call it Lagrande, call it uh, your baby and, and uh, it will be fine. So anyway, this is just what I thought. So that's it. So here we go. This is how Lagrande looks on the inside. So basically we have side panels. So these are the side panels, a top panel that rests on top of the side panels and the bottom is not connected to the sides. So there are three panels glued to each other on the bottom. That's, that gives the solid bottom for it. And there are side walls, which are the, the panels for the slot port. So these are the side walls for the slot port. And that's, that, that bottom is a completely separate unit. And, and right now it's hanging in midair, there's nothing connecting it to the side walls. And uh, the way this all makes sense, when you put on the front. So when you put on the front baffle, the front panel, then the front panel connects to the side and the top and the front panel connects to this bottom piece and that's how it will become a single loudspeaker and the same thing with the with the panel behind uh, it, it connects to the uh, rear panel the panel and the behind the same way as it connects to the front panel and you can either screw it on or glue them together but uh, once you glue the front panel on you are totally welcome to do that instead of screwing. It's faster and easier. But uh, if you also glue the, the back panel, then you do not have access anymore to the, to the inside of the cabinet and that will limit your options for, uh, 
for upgrades and changes massively. I don't recommend it. I, I recommend even if you glue the front, then just uh, screw the back. Uh, so, so to call it La Grande, it must meet these criteria. The sides, the top, the bottom pieces and the slot port walls, they must be either 20 millimeter for those of you in Europe or three quarter inch wood for those of you here in the United States. So you must use uh, this material and you must use wood for that. And uh, you can use pine, you can use oak, walnut, rosewood, spruce for the best results. You can use redwood, any, any wood of your choice that you want. If you live in uh, Australia or here in Hawaii, you can uh, try out uh, specific woods that, that are native to, to your region. Um, such as here we have koa. You can try out koa if you can find. Uh, or you can also try out uh, orange or pear, whatever. Just it, it should be organic wood. Uh, if you do not have access to that, your second choice is butcher's block, which is basically pieces of wood uh, glued together. That's the second best choice if you do not have uh, single pieces of wood. And the butcher's block is actually probably the easiest to build with because its size will be very rectangular and, and exactly 90 degrees corners. When you use a pine or other wood, then uh, depending on the cuts and how it dried, the, the edges might not be perfectly straight, the corners might not be exactly 90 degrees, so you will need to shave off from the corners and create exact 90 degree angles with that. So that adds a layer of complexity. So if you don't want to deal with that, then just use butcher's block. However, do not use MDF. And I, I cannot just stress it high enough or hard enough or harsh enough. Avoid the dreaded MDF. Do not use it for Le Lagrande build. If you use it, it's not Lagrande anymore. Uh, and don't use plywood either simply because uh, you cannot screw to it. But if you uh, glue it, then you can use plywood. And the simple reason is that for plywood, the plies will be uh, parallel to each other. And if you cannot put a screw uh, in, in parallel to the layers because it will crack the layers open and it will not make a strong connection. And uh, so if you use plywood for the sides, uh, then you must glue it that that's an exception that you can make uh, if you cannot find anything else than plywood. And uh, front and rear baffle, uh, the ones that go the front panel and the rear panel, that must be the 12 millimeter or half inch uh, thick plywood. You can use Baltic birch, maple, poplar, or if you have like a rosewood plywood or something exotic, you can use those. Those are extremely expensive, but any high quality plywood, just, just use something nice. Uh, and here again, not MDF, not the bloody MDF. Uh, if, if it's made the front and rear with MDF, it is not La Grande anymore. And uh, let's stop here and continue with the next video because I'm hitting 14 minutes. So we got to the uh, how you see how the internals look like. So the, the, the slot ports are actually firing downwards. So they are not firing forward, they're firing downward and there's two, two slots, two slots firing down. I will talk in a separate video about why is that and why the construction is so strange like this that it's not a, a, a box, not, not an empty box on the inside, but, but the floor of the cabinet is actually much higher than the outside of the cabinet. Uh, so why is that? Uh, that's, that's the subject of another video. So for now, I will just cut it short. And please like, subscribe, 
And to those of you who have been sending me coffee regularly, thank you guys so much. You are making a difference. And cheers, I drink this mug to you. Bye-bye. <laughs>